Hey there! I'm your host, Ricky Dawkins, inviting you to this day's show of how to use Logic Pro X and other DAWs properly. We'll be taking a long-lasting look at limiters. You can locate a limiter in literally any DAW. But why? What are they for? What do they do? Should you use them in your own music? Stay tuned, and later you'll understand the answers to all of your questions. A dictionary defines a limiter as a person or thing that limits something. I would conjecture to proclaim that actually a limiter is a person, place, or thing that limits a person, place, or thing. We've all met people, places, or things in our lives that try to limit us and to make us less than our dreams. Tell us in the comments about your ambitions being limited, ridiculed, dislocated, or eliminated. The thing is, though, that artists can use limiters as a tool. You know how in bowling we use the limits on the lane to allow us to hurl the orb effectively? Well, artists can blend a combination of flexibility and limiters to knock down all the artistic pins. Many piano composers, for instance, like Mozart or Bach or even Beethoven, use the limiter of only composing using the notes available to them on their keyboard. Some performers use the limiter of only playing one instrument, while others use the limiter of being a multi-instrumentalist. Any choice you make means you've limited yourself to that decision and have to live with the consequences, so you may as well enjoy it. Like, you're either going to watch House of Cards or Game of Thrones, and the show you choose will define much of your socializing for the season. People enjoy discussing the current events on their favorite show, so will you be chatting it up about Claire or Cersei? In essence, a limiter serves to amplify the universal reality of cause and effect. You make a choice, and henceforth that choice's actions will be louder than words. The designers, uh, the designers at Logic Pro X recognize this reality when designing their adaptive limiter which adapts to your decisions in real time, and makes them louder. First, turn on these things. Then, listen as I dial in this one, which makes my musical decisions louder. Honestly, I'm not sure why we wouldn't just raise the volume on our channel or something, but I guess it is nice to have some redundant features which provide multiple ways of doing the same thing. Learn from your blunders, love the disbelievers, locate your durability, and live with the residual effect of a lifetime of collected limiters, culminating in the lone result of your personal musical style. Only you can write that song, and only I, Ricky Dawkins, can help you. Thanks for looking, subscribe, comment, visit, and come back next time when you talk about transposition.